All right, so let's fire up Xcode and make a new project. And let's give that a single view application for now. And let's go basic, um, call that foodie. And then use automatic reference counting. Save that on the desktop as well. And we're ready to go. So the first thing we want to do is uh, to create our list. So that's going to be the list of recipes. So for that, we're going to have to add a new table view controller. So add a new file there. And then choose a subclass of UI view controller, which is the table view. And let's call that recipe list. Okay, let's save that under the foodie folder. All right, so that's our recipe list. So but we need to be able to customize each cell on that list. So we will add a new file called recipe list cell. And that's gonna be of type uh, UI table view cell. So that's that. And then let's call that recipe cell. Let's also save that in the foodie folder and then click on create. Then there's one more thing we're going to need to add. We need to add a view for the recipe cell. And let's go back to the new file, which is user interface view, and then click on next. And let's call that recipe cell as well. So you can see this has given us a this has given us a basic full view for the iPhone. But we don't need that. We just need a UI cell. So I'm gonna hit on delete to delete that one, and then search on the side here for a UI table view cell, and drag that. Let's drag, let's try again. Drag that to the stage here. So now we can start customizing our application. So to do that, let's add a image view from the side. This is going to be the thumbnail for our recipe. This was going to show the dish itself. And then also add a label. Let's drag that across. This is also the, this is going to be the title of our recipe. So let's call that. Okay, so let's leave it basic for now and then try to add that cell to our list view. So that's, this is going to be our list view and then we'll go to our recipe list and look for the function called cell for row at index path. This is where we're going to customize what, how the cells will look. Okay. So let's include our recipe cell before we start. Okay, so now let's get a bit of code from a cell which I created before on another project. And let's paste that in our application. And paste that there. So now what this does is it loads a nib file called recipe cell. Right, and then it's gonna have lots of objects, and then we loop over all the objects, and then look for the table view cell in that in that nib file, which is gonna be this. And then when we find that, we will set that to our cell, and that's gonna be our type recipe cell. So, if we have the cell identifier that can be decued, we'll pull that and then re return that. If not, we'll look into our nib called recipe cell and then return that re return that object as well. Okay, so we, there are other things that we need to configure for the table view to work. That's the number of sections. Let's set that as one because we only have one section. 
you could have different sections for different kind of dishes for example but, but let's keep it simple for now and then we also need to say what number of rows there are later we're going to be plugging this into a model to so basically a recipe api from punch fork but for now let's give a static number let's say there are going to be five recipes in there and i think we're good to go let's run that and see what we get okay no we can't actually run it yet because the recipe list is not plugged into our app delegate so if you go to the app delegate we'll see here that the initial view controller is going to be the starting root view controller but we want to make that to so gonna we want to make that our recipe list so what we will do is create an instance of the recipe list so let let's include our recipe list and then create a new instance of the recipe list view Okay, what I've just done there is create a new ver a new instance of the recipe list and now we need to say our root view controller is gonna be instead of the view control view controller is gonna be the recipe list and I think if you run that in the simulator we should be able to see a static list all right okay so that's our static list we just have a a list of five recipes and they're all the same for now okay so so now the next step is to add the view for that recipe so the view is gonna be the detail so we're gonna see the larger image of the recipe and also maybe some information like the title the ingredients and then maybe steps on how to produce that so that's gonna be in the next video